The Religious Society of Friends, commonly known as Quakers, is one of a number of Protestant religions that groups that came out of turmoil in the Europe of the 17th century. The group's founder, George Fox, had a vision in 1647 that led him to begin propagating a highly individualistic and mystical vision. The Quakers are highly egalitarian and have a deep suspicion of hierarchies. Each member of the faith is considered to be a minister and therefore equal to any another member in standing within the faith community. From the beginning, the faithful were organized around a monthly meeting, and usually they gather every Sunday, 10.30 to 11.30, and enter the silence. They actually meditate and just quietly connect in a deep con dialogue with God personally, without icons, without hymns or sermons. And it, they believe in pacifism and simplicity. And whenever anyone's inspired, they'll stand up and uh, share the light. They are, they're in the light, so to speak, and they'll give testimony. The they don't meet at a church, per se. They call it a meeting house, and they're simply friends.
daughter there. Would you like to do the Tibetan one? You can oh, order, order the pole them. and you can order all the different plaques with the language on them. There are many other languages in addition to these. This is so meaningful that it's from our from here. grounds. So yeah. This is our cedar. And the, the cedar, yeah. you probably know more than I think, but the cedar for Native Americans holds the spirit. Right, it's sacred. In the fire ceremony, they bird, they take cedar and they throw it into the fire with mm -hmm. your prayer because it's the evergreen. It lasts mm -hmm. throughout, and like the cedars of Lebanon, which are four right. or five thousand years old, the oldest living plants on the earth, yeah. living creatures that are sustained forever and ever. So it's a symbol of the everlasting spirit that's within all of us and connected to the web of life. And if you know about an Amenia, the Peace Park, there's a peace walk with every country in the world and a little map of it. And uh, they have peace poles and flags from all over the world. Mm -hmm. In Amenia, New York? Amenia, New York. Oh, upstate, mm. upstate a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is something that any meeting, however small it may be, can do if they choose to. It's kind of what you were talking about, Barbara. I don't know the tune, Gail, so you're going to have to. <laughs> Who's a good singer here? Barbara. Barbara, are you a good singer? <laughs> let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me.
Behind me, you see the Amawalk Meeting House, the Society of Friends holds its worship hours here, commonly called Quakers. The Quakers uh, don't meet in a church, they meet in a meeting house, because George Fox, who was the founder of Quakerism, said that churches are simply houses with steeples. There are basic precepts that uh, uh, guide Quaker practice, four of them, uh, equality, simplicity, truth, and peace. The, the Quakers have always been pacifists, and of course are still pacifists. Quakers have always been in favor of the abolition of slavery. The very first resolutions passed by any group in this country. The Quakers operated in their farmhouses stations on the Underground Railroad, that is, providing food and shelter to slaves who were running away from the South to get to freedom in Canada. And uh, when these slaves came through, uh, they were always uh, treated as though they were part of the family. They ate together and they lived in the farmhouse with uh, their uh, protectors. <laughs> there was, uh, um, in uh, Quaker Hill in Pauling, there was a man named Irish who uh, refused to wear any clothing that had cotton because he was that opposed to slavery and his farmhouse was one of the stations in the Underground Railroad as were several other houses on Quaker Hill. You know that was uh, really uh, uh, illegal to give uh, comfort or aid to runaway slaves. But this did not deter the Quakers. The Quakers have um, 
not always had to, uh, an easy life. Uh, they were very much frowned upon in certain parts of the colonies. And uh, there were three Quakers who were hanged in the Boston Common because I think they refused to take their hats off uh, when the name of the king was mentioned, which at that time was very offensive, I guess, to the Anglicans. Anyway, they were hanged. And they uh, and endured certain other um, persecutions through the years. This building uh, dates back to 1831. But there were uh, two buildings before this uh, uh, that uh, were either demolished or, or, or burned down. But this particular edifice has been here since 1831. As I said, simplicity is very much at the heart of Quaker belief. And it, 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 uh, it, is, it is to be expressed not only in, um, in the uh, ornaments in a house or, uh, or, uh, uh, or in the clothes that are worn. As a matter of fact, it was uh, the practice at one time that if anyone came to a Quaker meeting, and was uh, uh, too well dressed, uh, he or she uh, was invited to go home. <laughs> their their, their uh, uh, a, a, a belief in simplicity uh, uh, went to that extent. Um, it's also to be found in their houses. And although their houses are, are Spartan in certain respects, they have a, a certain wonderful, austere beauty, the original Quaker homes. And very often, they were built to accommodate uh, two generations, or maybe even more. And there were separate entrances for the, for the various generations. I thought that was a really nice discussion of peace, not as an abstract goal, but as what we can do in the present moment as a process that will lead towards peace. And I think it, to me, it relates a lot to what Barbara was saying earlier during the meeting. It's the way we choose to live. Um, and I just want to say one other thing. Um, there's a pamphlet in our meeting house which claims that Amawalk is a Native American word that means people walking uphill. <laughs> and you could take that literally or metaphorically. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I thought that when our peace card is finished and we have this path which will be leading from the peace hole, hole a peace pole site. It seems appropriate to me that we should think of ourselves as people walking uphill, um, people walking towards peace, but one step at a time and being very mindful and conscious of what we're doing in the here and the now with each step that we take. So thank you.
appropriate to me that we should think of ourselves as people walking uphill, um, people walking towards peace, but one step at a time and being very mindful and conscious of what we're doing in the here and the now with each step that we take.